Hey, toy collectors, let's talk about the DC Multiverse Superman John Kent. In terms of character development, I feel like John Kent has been given a lot of attention with DC, especially being that he's only been around for a relatively short period of time. This is part of the DC Multiverse McFarlane toy line, which I don't collect a lot of their figures except for the ones that I really like, and this is one of them. My buddy Justin got this one for me. Justin, you're awesome. Let's open him up. And here he is. He comes with the obligatory extra hand a card with a brief bio on the back, and a nifty figure holder. His overall color scheme is incredibly vibrant and beautiful. It may just be my figure, but the joints are really loose. Some of them just kind of pop out. He really looks like he's angry. Like all McFarlane figures, this has a lot of articulation, but you want to be careful about posing him too much because after a while, they become even more loose and then you can't pose him at all. It's kind of a shame that his head can't be pushed back any further than this. You can't really pose him as if he's about to take off. The S symbol is molded onto his chest, and I love how they did it. See, if you could push his head back, this would look like a much better pose, but we don't have that ability. For comparison purposes, I have Connor Kent Superboy, and I have Daddy Superman in the back. I love this Daddy Superman. He looks so cool. Overall, this is a great figure. Like I said, the neck joint is the only thing that's a little bit disappointing and some of the other joints are a little loose but it may just be my figure i'm gonna end this toy quickie review at this point be sure to check out my patreon site patreon.com slash gay comic geek check out my social media sites my websites and everything else out there peace love namaste and i'll join you guys later peace